Hey peoples, my name is Lamia. Hey, straight into it. Okay, cool. So, I'm using a mascara brush to do my eyebrows right now. You know, just to straighten it out, you know, give it a little razzle-dazzle. So, yeah. As you can see, my hair is already laid. If you are doing your makeups after, I mean, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta do the hair before the makeups because otherwise it looks rubbish. Okay, fantastic, cool. So, yeah, now we've got the pencils in there. Yes, when I say pencil, I'm not referring to drawing pencil, this is for high brows. What's that? Cream. <laughs> this. Oh! Nah, you know, you know, you think you're good at something, you're, you're just not. Okay, great. This is contour. No, concealer. Yes. So this one we are using it to hide the something. You know, yeah, conceal. The word conceal means to hide. So you are using it to hide something. Yeah. And I use a brush to dab it in. Derby. So now, as you can see, it's blending in with my natural skin tone. Mm -hmm. Get it underneath your eyelids as well. When your uni stress is getting in, you know, you have to make sure it's covered. Mm -hmm. And now my face looks whole on time. So yeah, um, keep it going on both sides. You don't want to look uneven. You know, you're not the joker. You're not a clown. You have to make sure each side is even and nice. You know, it's not always going to be perfect. That's fine. Yes. Cool. So now I use a darker shade of um something. You know, I've always wondered if this feels weird on your face. Like, do you know there's makeup on your face? Mm -hmm. Then I put it on my nostrils as well. Don't breathe it in. It's dangerous. Put it on my chin. Then I put it. This one looks like foundation. So it's the basis of your face. Is what is underneath, is what carries the makeup, you know, so that when you put the glitter and everything, it look nice, razzle dazzle. Yes. So, mm hmm. Pout my lips so that I can get every angle. I use a bigger brush. Mm hmm. Just to dab it all around my face, you know, vital areas. Mm hmm. That's right, yeah. Once I'm done, obviously, you know, yeah, you'll see. Mm -hmm. So now that my face is one tone, yes, we don't want no, you know, patchy face. I put something, oh my God, so much. What is this? Why is it light? So I put something light on my face and I use the brush to dab it in mm -hmm. yeah what this does is you know I'm trying to do point evidence and explanation but I only have the point no evidence or explanation because this is fucking this is, this is something am I allowed to swear in the channel okay just double checking cool so yeah I've got one on my forehead as well you know, little spot there. You know, nice. I have to just make sure everything is dabbing in, you know. Make sure it's all nice. Now, you see, now the shape of my nose has transformed somehow uh, along the line. You know, reverse the video if you didn't realize. You see, about what minutes are we in? Yeah, yeah, the technicality is all of it. Yeah, back in four minutes, around there, you see. My nose was different. Now it's something else. Mm -hmm. Now you get all the creases and the crevices. And then... Yeah. That's it. Picking up new kits. Okay. Now this dark edge. What it does is create my facial structure. This is the contouring stage. Yes, I'm good with this one. I know it. Because I want a natural one. So this is the contouring stage where you contour your face. You have to mold it, you know. So it doesn't matter your face shape 
you know you can make it into whatever you want just by putting the right it's like creating your own lighting yes education kids mm-hmm. so what you want to do is make your cheekbones look big nice and you know defined so you put a line there slash like i've done you know put it around the hairline you know that way your forehead looks smaller you know you know you people with the big forehead this one listen carefully because if you contour you can man them you can even use it for your packs you know this one is good yeah so make sure you get it nice and in inside you know all around you know the basis of your head the face and now all of a sudden your face looks all together before it was higgy haga now it's all together great fantastic mm-hmm so yeah i contour the nose more make it look pointy you know a little saline dion you know who else has a pointy nose yeah benteke no no benteke don't have no pointy nose <laughs> But yeah, um, now when I'm done with that, I put a little bit of highlight. Is that highlight? It's not highlight. Is it highlight? Is it making me shine? No, it's not. Mm. Okay. Blow on the brush. You have to blow on the brush. You know, that way you're not putting too much excess powder on your face. So if you didn't blow on it properly, you see your face is looking like cake. Yeah. I don't know what's happening here. And I'm just moving my hair. Mm-hmm. Now when it comes to the lips, this one's the one. The gob smackers, you know, the mwah. The one. Yeah. So you line it up. Mm-hmm. Use lip liner. That one is not rocket science. Use Vaseline. When your lips are dry, give it a try. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Give the air a kiss. You know, everyone deserves something sweet. Mm-hmm. You know, this is all lip balm. We don't do no quasi like that. Just around the lip. And you're great. Fantastical. Yes. If you have naturally juicy lips, it's fantastic. Yes. And that's the end of my video. Bye. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need.